Well, I mean, I've said before that Nas has one classic album, but I want to say that that's actually, now that I've spent some time, I would say that Stillmatic is his other classic album. And the Lost Tapes. And that first Lost Tapes. I did it my way. Lost um, Tapes, yeah. You gotta love it. Uh, nah, he got, nah, he, nah, there's more than that. There's more than that. But they just like, kind of like, Spin off joints where it was just like that, that yeah. Illmatic potent yeah. thing again. Yeah, because I felt well, the Lost Tapes was. I mean, I guess you can consider it an album, but it's not exactly no, but that an stuff album. Was not, yeah, no. I felt like that was just kind of stuff from his first album that they put together, in a way. So I, I see what you're saying. It, it can go both ways. Lost Tapes was very dope, but still, no, like just him going back into his treasure chest, like yeah, oh, oh, that, you know, that, that, kind that of thing. exactly. But then still, Matic starts coming together and you come back into the fold on that yeah you produce uh a couple of joints yeah you're the man how did that come together just got the call one day like yo bro man yo you yo i'm in the studio and he was working out in li which was beautiful because that's that's my region right there so i was like yo swing out we were at a, a studio called los lobos Yo, it was ill, because I met, that's when I met 50 Cent, too. Like, he was just, like, the whole thing. He had came in, like, he had a, a hockey jersey on. He had, like, mad bulletproof shit on under it. You could see it, because it was mad summer. Like, me and Nas had even looked at each other, like, yo, is he hot? Like, because he had mad bulletproof shit on. He, it was right before, like, in the club and all of that shit. And, like, I think, I don't know if the the, the problem had happened, but he was bulletproof down. Yeah, he, he had like, already, oh. yeah, yeah. I mean, he had already been shot. Okay, yeah, so you know, know, yeah, it was, yeah. yeah, because around oh, stillmatic, right? Okay, nah, nah yeah, you're right, I, yeah, I, no, I, yeah, because yeah, by the time Dr. Dre found him, he had already gone through the shooting and everything. Right? Like oh, that. yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. you know that, yeah. So, um, nah, I met him during those times, man. He came to pop through, and um, yeah, nah, we did the, uh, we we did a few joints, man. We did a few joints during those times. He did, you did, you're the man, mm -hmm. which is funny because you know one of my one of my camera people, Ricky, said that's his favorite Nas song ever. Oh, that, that's real. Man. Then you also did Rewind, Rewind, which was one of Nas' most original songs, Man. where he talked about a story, a story backwards, backwards, even rhyme wise. Like, yo, it's crazy. The the, the turn of events he starts from, yeah, it's crazy. Whose idea was that? That was all Nas. We was in there like I'm I'm rocking with the beat because when Nas is involved, like I I could go and say yo this or that, you know what I'm saying? But it's it's nothing I could tell him really. You know what I'm saying? Like he he got it. Unless it's just something crazy that I'm, you know. But for the most part, I, you know, I know. He, so I'm rocking with the beat, and and one day, um, you know, we leave with one version of the song, and then came back the next day, and it was that. I'm like, that shit is twisted. So when you heard it, you were like, yeah, I'm like, this shit is crazy. <laughs> this shit is crazy.